I was on Facebook the other day, casually browsing my list of friends. This is not something I usually do. I don't spend a great deal of time on the site. Anyway, I'm looking at people's profiles and pictures and status updates. And as I'm doing this, a question forms in my mind. I ask myself, how many of these people do I really know? Then I ask myself, how many of these people, over 200 people, do I actually consider to be my friends? I sat there and thought about this for a while. The answer didn't require a great deal of thought. One. One person who I would consider a genuine friend. When I started out on Facebook, I went looking for people I'd gone to school with. It didn't take long to find a whole lot of former classmates. And I was pleasantly surprised that most of them rem remembered me. So I started adding people, trying to strike up conversations. Some of them wanted to chat, others not. Fair enough. Next, I just start randomly adding people. I start adding people from places like South Korea, Argentina, India, the United States. I love learning about people from different cultures and I love talking to folks from far away places, folks that are willing to be honest and open up, really talk about themselves, you know. So, yeah, my Facebook friend list is essentially made up of old classmates and people from far away countries that in all honesty, I don't really know, but I'm trying to get to know. Social networking is great, in a way. It brings people closer together, for sure. I know it's almost a cliché now, but the world does seem like a smaller place, and... I think the internet has a lot to do with that. As nice as it is to hear from old schoolmates, and as interesting as it is to talk to these lovely foreign people, whose English seems to be a lot better than mine in many cases, Fact is, I'm under no illusions. I'm not kidding myself. These 200 plus people are not my friends, save for one. I don't know their lives and I'm not close with any of them, save for one. Friendship isn't something you can have simply by clicking an ad button and saying, Hi, how you doing? every now and again. For me, friendship is one of the most important things in the world. A friend is far more than just an acquaintance. 
a friend is far more than just a drinking buddy or a regular dinner guest. A friend is someone who you have a deep and meaningful connection with. An emotional bond. A real friend is someone who will always try to be there, whatever the weather, and will always be honest with you. Even at the risk of damaging or ending the friendship. Someone who genuinely cares about you will never flatter or deceive you. A true friend is never a flatterer or a deceiver. <clears throat> a real friend, simply speaking, is a person who doesn't want anything from you other than your friendship your companionship. I'd have to say, in my life, true friends have been hard to come by, to say the least. I can only think of a handful of people at most who I would consider to be true friends. Maybe I've always found it difficult making friends because I have certain trust issues. Bad experiences in youth can really stay with you. I've always been kind of envious of people who seem to be able to make friends with great ease. Some seem to have this great talent for connecting with people, getting them to open up and be themselves. That's a wonderful talent to have. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who would define friendship more loosely than I would. The word isn't going to mean the same thing to everyone, of course. In my view, the word friend is thrown around very cheaply, generally speaking. As the word is used in the social circles that I travel in, it might as well just mean acquaintance. The word should carry a much deeper meaning. Some questions for anyone watching this video. How many people, in all honesty, do you consider to be your friends? How many folks can you truly rely on to be there for you? And how many people would you yourself try to be there for, no matter the cost? And also, what would be your definition of a true friend, if you had to give a definition. Maybe it's not an easy thing to define, eh? Feel free to post comments below, folks, or respond with a video if you like. Don't be a silent watcher. Make your voice heard. Anyway, take care of yourselves, folks. Peace.